Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back. If you're new, I'm Anna May, and today I'm gonna to be talking about some of my recent favorites. I personally love a good favorites video. I like seeing what other people are enjoying. It's a good way to discover new products. And I thought I would just share with you what I've been enjoying recently. So most of the things I'm gonna be showing you are like beauty kind of related stuff, skincare, nails, stuff like that. And then I have one or two other little pieces that are not so much in that area. So I think I'm gonna start off with like the most basic thing as far as skincare and such. Uh, and that is what I have been using to wash my face and moisturize most recently. So I was on a medication for my acne. I have been on something basically for the last, how many years since I was like 14? A long time. So I stopped taking that for all different reasons and I was kind of afraid that all hell would break loose on my face. Um, but it hasn't, I am so thankful for. Uh, I think it helps that I'm older now. I don't eat meat anymore. There's a lot of things like that. But I have some more skin texture compared to what I used to, especially on my chin and stuff. But I am a big CeraVe fan. I used their gentle cleanser, like the one for dry skin. That actually is a really great makeup remover because you can use it on your eyes and everything, just as a side note. But because my skin was getting oilier again, I tried the foaming cleanser and I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, obviously this actually has like ceramides, niacinamide and hyaluronic acid, which are big like buzz ingredients at the minute. But CeraVe has always had those things. So I really, really enjoy these products. And then the moisturizer, this is a moisturizing cream. I've also used the lotion I think which is just the lighter form. Uh, I like the cream better. This I think is like just the travel size. I used to get it when I was in New York. I got the cream and it's like a bit thicker and I really like it. Uh, works great as like under makeup and everything and if you have any irritation on your skin or dry patches or anything like that this just fixes it. So definitely try these products. They sell them now on ASOS because they have like hyaluronic acid and they're fragrance free and everything. They're not maybe the most trendy looking skincare products, but they work fantastically. So, you know, yeah, they have people like, oh, that has mineral oil in it. You know, I'm gonna use it anyways. It works fantastic for me, so sticking with it. So sticking with the like face things, I have two foundations that I'm gonna share with you. One I'm pretty sure I have talked about before, and it's the Makeup Revolution London Stick Foundation. Uh, this is an F6, this is my self-tan shade, and I have just ordered one in a lighter shade. Hopefully that will be my not so self-tan shade. Uh, this is fantastic as an everyday foundation, super quick and easy to apply. I just blend it in with a damp beauty sponge. Uh, so good, and non-irritating, fantastic. Uh, it has pretty good staying power as well. I set it with the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop powder, I'm pretty sure, which I would also really recommend. I'll link over here uh, some of my previous, like my recent makeup videos because I talk about it there because that's what I use. I also have been trying the Burt's Bees Goodness Glows Liquid Makeup. This foundation is also a self tan shade for me, which is me now. Um, although this is kind of dark, I'm hoping to like brighten it when I edit it, but my studio light's broken and it's Ireland, so this is just the kind of thing we have to deal with. Uh, this is in 1030 Linen Beige, so it's quite warm for me, but it works great as a self tan shade. So the only thing I have for this, so it says like long term, it'll help with the health of your skin and stuff like that. It definitely feels like a healthier, lighter foundation, not as greasy. Well, it is actually kind of greasy feeling but it's so light, but it still has good coverage because it's a mineral foundation. The only thing I have to say about this that is negative is that it is obviously very water soluble. So like I would not, because I'm in such a rainy country, I would not want to wear this on a wet day because I'm pretty sure it would literally run off my face. Even today, so I ate my lunch and I was drinking a glass of water and when I took it down, you could see there was foundation from around my mouth because I hadn't put on any lip product yet. Like everywhere. If you get water on it, it will literally just like rinse off, which is great if you have very, very sensitive skin and you want something like that. It's also great because I don't use makeup removing wipes or any makeup removing products other than a makeup eraser cloth. So it just comes off like a dream. I feel like I'd actually be very happy to work out in this. I wouldn't think that it would be too mask-like, but I don't think it's a, it has the best staying power if you encounter any water. But I think this would be really good for um, somebody younger with sensitive skin because the ingredients are pretty good. 
Uh, it doesn't take much product to get a really nice look. It's really, it is, it's called Goodness Glows. It is really glowy, it looks really healthy. I think it's, it's a really good option. Um, but just know that it might run off if you get stuck in the rain. And the last like makeup product uh, I'm gonna talk about, I actually shared on Instagram, you should definitely follow me on Instagram, at anime.yt. Um, I showed how much I loved it, and that was the ColourPop Midnight Masquerade Disney Collection. Uh, it's the lip product in Flynn. This is a new formula, I believe, and it is amazing. Uh, it's, it says Lux Liquid Lip. Okay, I thought it was a new formula, someone had said that. It's like, so soft and it feels like nothing but it really stays it also does stain a little bit so if that's something you like or you don't like you know i really really like this uh this color is great for me i was unsure about what color i was going to choose because you can't test it out and stuff like that so i just decided to go i wanted like five of the lip colors so i just decided to go with the one that was with the rapunzel blush which is the blush i wanted to try and that was flynn which yes should be called eugene if you know you know the packaging is so cute the product itself is amazing Whew, okay so I'm back uh, a dress I ordered and a sports bra from Gap got delivered I think I was just finishing up talking about this lip product how I really like the blush and eyeshadow palette but I'm not including them in this because I haven't used them enough I don't think to really give a full explanation as to why I'd like them they're beautiful to look at I can tell you that right now. I think this is a great lip for the winter time. If you like something that's a bit more berry, but you know, not too nude, not too dark either. It's a good one. I thought it was gonna be a little too dark, but it's actually perfect. Okay, so moving away from like makeup and going into nails, I recently ordered three new nail polishes from nailpolishdirect.co.uk, something like that. Um, and these are the two that I've tried out so far. This is from CND, it's the Vinylux. And then this is China Glaze in Blue Yeah. Oh, and this one's in Winter Glow. Both of these are amazing. This is really dark, shimmery. Is it amazing and shiny? Not so much, but I really, really like this. I had never tried anything from this CND Vinylux before. I believe it's like a salon kind of brand and it's supposed to be like a long wear nail polish that's kind of like a gel in that the UV that you get just from being in daylight will help and set your nails. I don't know, but I can tell you that it's definitely a quality nail polish. It's a super, super light pink, it's almost white. Two coats gave full coverage. It's a really creamy look. I, one thing that like really stood out to me was that I was doing repairs on my, one of my jackets in like the lining. And when you sew, you usually destroy your nails, at least in my experience. My nails were fine, except for a small little chip on my thumb. That's unheard of. Uh, I've had this on for like three or four days now. It looks like I did it 15 minutes ago. It is so fresh looking. I really, really like the color pay, like the color payoff is great. I feel like it is, especially if you apply it correctly, it is very hard wearing. Uh, I would say it has a lot of really bad chemicals in it. That would be the thing. Uh, it's not like China Glaze or Orly, which are, or Zoya. They're the ones I like the most usually, but it's really good. So I thought it was worth a try because they these are actually pretty inexpensive on that uh, website, except the shipping's really expensive on that website. So like, watch yourself. But yeah, I'd definitely try this out if you can get your hands on it, because I know it's technically like a salon brand, I think. I think it's great. And this is in the color Winter Glow, and it's what I have on my nails. I think I'm gonna post a photo on Instagram because honestly, I'm that obsessed. And then the very last thing I want to say is a favorite is my planner. I've really gotten back into, well, I've always used my planner. I stopped using my planner Instagram just because it was such an ordeal to like get my studio light set up because my studio light, the reason I'm not using it today, it's actually broken and I need to set up the other one and try and fix the previous one, etc. And my poster board got all beat up when I was gone and like lots of stuff like that because I stopped taking photos when I went to New York, but I use the Erin Condren Life Planner. I use the hourly format. I'm just gonna open up a random day so you know what it looks like. So you have one of these bars for each day. It has been fantastic for college. I'm doing a master's at the minute, if you didn't know. You probably would, because I talk about it all the time, but like, I'm one of these planner people, you know, the the themes. So definitely not going to go back into like having a planner channel. I still have my planner channel, but I don't use it anymore. My planner Instagram, I wish I used, but I just don't. I definitely want to share more 
planner spreads and stuff like that on my regular Instagram and at anime.yt um, because it's a big part of like my every day you know I use this planner but it's been really good because I've gotten really involved in stuff recently which sounds so vague but <laughs> plus actually being in grad school classes changing classes being cancelled classes being moved classes are long when I'm gonna work on certain presentations and projects etc etc so having this has been a godsend I love the hourly planner I was a vertical planner for years uh, but hourly has just it just has my heart now because I love being able to put in like appointments in advance that's really great for me because I couldn't I didn't feel like I could really plan in advance when I was using a vertical always been on my Erin Condren game but I'm really back on it um, I also have a custom cover it's very cute it has all cute pictures and uh, from about the last year I'll actually leave my Erin Condren referral code because I think you get a disc you get like ten dollars off and I'll get a kickback which is fantastic because I really wish I could get these. They're just expensive. I really wish I could get them as gifts for people in my life because they're just so great. So those are my favorites at the minute. I have a lot of favorites at the minute, but I thought that these were the standouts that I would do right now. I'll probably try and do more favorites videos just because it's something I really like to film. It's something that I really like to watch as well from other people. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, you can see, I'll link some pre other videos of mine over here. As you can see, I kind of post all different kinds of content, college vlog stuff and lifestyle, fashion-y stuff, anything really. And I'll leave the shortcut to subscribe over here if you want to see any more from me. Uh, follow me on Instagram at anime.yt and I will see you in my next video.